Christmas time! Today I'm gonna show you how to bake some traditional Austrian Christmas cookies. Vegan, of course. We're gonna make some vanilla kipferl, some Linzaugen in different kinds of shapes, and Lebkuchen, gingerbread. And instead of Lebkuchen stars, you can also make really cool Christmas jumpers. Look how cool! So Christmassy! I'm very proud of my decorations because does it look like I'm wearing a jumper? Not quite. <laughs> Before we can start baking, we need to get into a Christmassy mood. As you can see, I'm already wearing a Christmassy sweater. I already set up the decoration. And what else do we need? We need some Christmas music, very important. And we're gonna light some candles. This is an Adventkranz. There's one candle for each Sunday before Christmas. So we have two candles now. Two more weekends before Christmas. Now, I think, yes, we're all ready to go. Let's start. First recipe we're gonna try out is Vanilla Kipfer. If you translate it, it's Vanilla Crescent because of their shape. But I found out even in English recipes they're called Vanilla Kipfer, so we'll stick with that. Super easy recipe with only five ingredients. Mm, almost like dissolves in your mouth. For our vanilla kipfel, we only need flour, vegan butter, icing sugar, and hazelnuts. And some vanilla sugar for later. We'll start with 280 grams of flour, 80 grams of icing sugar, 100 grams of um, ground hazelnuts, and 200 grams of butter. So we'll cut the butter a little bit into pieces. It's easier if you already let the butter soften a bit, but I do recommend butter and not very soft margarine. The end result will be better with vegan butter. Cut it into small pieces and now we mix everything with our hand until everything is, well, one dough. It can take some time. It's quicker if the butter would be softer. I forgot to take it out of the fridge before I started. It's exhausting. Okay, looking good now. So once it looks like that, we're gonna put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge for one hour. After the dough has been in the fridge for one hour, we're gonna take about a, a quarter of the dough and make one big roll with it. Cut it into pieces. Now we're gonna make the kipfel with our hands. It's like, it should be that shape. And it's important that all kipfel have about the same size, otherwise some might burn until the others are uh, done. Now we're gonna put the cookies into the oven at 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. The cookies are done as soon as they get a little bit brownish on the edges. Now we're gonna mix together three tablespoons of icing sugar and three bags of vanilla sugar or 24 grams. Mix that together. Put some sugar into a sieve and sprinkle it on top. And shake the whole thing. Important to shake them so there's also some sugar at the bottom. And that's it. Here we have our vanilla kipfel. Next on our list, Lebkuchen. Very traditional Austrian, I guess German as well, uh, cookie. If you translate Lebkuchen to English, it's gingerbread. You can also cover them with chocolate or frosting. Most people get the gingerbread a little bit like darker color because they use chocolate. I don't use chocolate. My special ingredient is rye flour mixed with normal flour to get this great color of our gingerbread. For our Austrian style gingerbread, we need 250 grams of flour 250 grams of rye flour, 8 grams of baking powder and 1 tablespoon of gingerbread spice, 200 grams of brown sugar, I'm gonna make it hole in the middle, 
and put in the liquids. 250 milliliter of plant-based milk. I'll put the rest in later. Four tablespoons of oil. Ooh, should have used it. Oh no, I should. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So we've learned use a bowl or just a little bit of liquid until you knead it in. More liquid. Once it's one nice little ball of dough, like that, we're gonna put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge for one hour. So, I just got our cookie dough out of the fridge, the Lebkuchen cookie dough. On our work surface, we need to put flour, put it out a bit. The cookie dough is quite sticky, but it's supposed to be sticky. Cookie dough. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on top as well because it's so sticky. And now we're gonna roll it out. If it's spread out a little bit, try to lift it up again because it's gonna stick to the bottom. And we need to put more flour underneath. So once we cut the cookies, the cookies will not stick to the bottom. Yeah, just use more flour if it's too sticky and make sure the roller is clean. And now we can get our cookie cutters and get started. With the rest of the dough, I'll just mash it back together, make another dough ball and let's start again. Now we're going to spread some soy milk on top of our cookies. If you spread the cookies with soy milk, then they'll be all nice and shiny. And if you want, you can add some nuts on top of the cookies. Now we're going to put the cookies into the oven at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending how thick they are. For the decoration for the Lebkuchen, we're going to need a tiny bit of plant-based milk and some icing sugar. Mix that together. So if you drizzle it down, it should not immediately vanish, so we'll need more sugar. Now my mix just a little bit on the firmer side, but I prefer that to it being like too runny. You can also add some food coloring to the sugary paste for decorating, but I'm gonna stick with just white. And now we need to think of cool decorations for our sweaters. It's supposed to be the vegan symbol. Do you recognize it? Maybe I'm not the art most artistic person, but I like my sweaters. The next cookies we're gonna bake are Linzer Augen. <gasps> so they're called Linzer Eyes, basically, because they have holes in the middle, but there's jam inside. You can use any jam to fill them. You can make any shapes and sizes. Traditionally you use a little bit of almonds inside. Um, I didn't have any almonds and I still had the package left over from the vanilla kipfel, so I used um, hazelnuts instead. Mm, very nice. Here we have the ingredients for our Linzer Augen. 300 grams of flour, 100 grams of icing sugar, 50 grams of nuts, I'm using hazelnuts from leftovers from the other cookies, but it's supposed to be almonds, but just any nuts is fine. 8 grams of vanilla sugar, 200 grams of butter, and the zest of one lemon. Now we're gonna knead everything together. So, knead the dough until it looks like that, one smooth the ball. Once again, put it in the bowl, cover it and put it in the fridge. Start again by putting flour on the kitchen counter. 
To start, we're gonna, just going to take half of the dough and put the other half back into the fridge. Put a little bit of flour on top of the dough as well. For these cookies, we always need two of the same kind like, and one with a hole in the middle. So I'm going to use my um, bamboo straw. Now we're going to put the cookies into the oven at 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. So, our cookies are baked and already cooled down. We have cookies without holes and cookies with holes. Now, we need to stick them together with some jam. We also have them in tiny. <gasps> oh no! Whoopsie! You you can use any jam you want. Traditionally, we use red currant jam. So I'm gonna use red currant, but you can use any kind of jam you want. I'm gonna take a little bit of jam in a bowl and stir it so it's more smooth. Okay, in order to stick them together, we're gonna turn around the cookie without hole. So we spread the bottom side with a, put a little bit of jam, place a cookie on top. Don't add too much jam, otherwise everything will be squashed out at the side. Now we're going to sprinkle some sugar on top, some icing sugar. So, I have more than enough cookies now for a while. I hope you enjoyed my recipes and watching me make them. If you did, I would be very happy if you give me a like on my video. Let me know in the comments if you tried any of them out and how you liked them. That's already it. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye.